Thank you, President. Minister, Commissioner, Montenegro is a key example of how the EU is able to push for a positive reform in third countries, using its collective weight to promote stability, prosperity and human rights in its neighbourhood to benefit us all in a way a single member state would be unable to do. Close cooperation with Montenegro is not just key given its position on the migration route running through the Western Balkans. It is also a transit country for trafficking of illegal weapons that could end up in Europe. And I applaud the increased cooperation with the EU under the Action Plan against illicit arms trafficking that was adopted by the Commission in the wake of the Paris attacks. I also welcome the recent opening of two negotiation chapters with the EU on transport and energy, giving a new boost to our relation with this important neighbour. Yet some important concerns remain. Further progress has to be made on strengthening the rule of law, reforming the judiciary and fighting corruption. Elections this year will be another key test in order for them to be free and fair. Implementing the new electoral legislation will be vital as well as making sure media are able to operate freely and independently. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. 